Brother Farik Naik from India. Honorable guest, speakers in the dais, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This conference, it has indeed renewed our faith, lit a new light, a new wave that will reduce falsehood to ashes and will help truth to prevail. We, the teenagers, are the greatest benefactors in this event. Let us make the most of it. It is my request to my brother and sisters, especially my non-Muslim brother and sisters, to give one chance, to give one glance at the glorious Quran. Please read and understand the message of the glorious Quran. Let us stand up and passionately strive to achieve our goals. Let us not forget that our aim is peace, our goal is peace, our objective is peace, our way is peace, our dream is peace, our mission is peace, our vision is peace. We love peace and inshallah we will attain peace. I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making this conference possible and I would like to thank all the volunteers who have put their efforts in for this conference. Without them, it would not have been possible. Brothers and sisters, I love you for the sake of Allah. Jazakallah, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would request our other speakers to kindly make their comments in two sentences. Dr. Shweb Sayyid from India. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Furutul Yunus, Qul, Ya Yohannas, say, O mankind, Qad ja'akumul haqqum in rabbikum. Truth has now reached up to you. Faman yahtada, if any one of you accept the guidance, fa innama yahtadi plinafsihi. This acceptance is for your good, for your own souls. Wa man dalla, but if you stray away, if you reject, if you reject, this rejection is for your own loss. Brother Nisar Nadia Dawala from India. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The peace conference will end today, but surely the efforts and the responsibility of carrying on peace, the message of peace to the world, does not end today, it continues. And the speakers, as well as all my brothers and sisters who are watching this program, all, we are all a participants in that, and Allah will question us as to what we did from today. So may Allah help us in taking his message to the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Brother Atar Khan from India. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of Almighty God be on all of you. First of all, I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, without the grace of whom this conference could not have been possible. And then I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give us the strength and courage to strive in his way and cause as we ought to strive in his way and cause. And as you know, the reach of Peace TV is now 100 million. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Muslim ummah to be able to bear witness on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over the nations as the messenger would be a witness over ourselves, over the Muslim ummah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before we have Dr. Zakir uh, coming up and Sheikh Salal Budair, we have one Nasheed artist, Abdullah Role, presenting a short verses of Nasheed for the theme of the conference. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Peace, the solution for humanity. Peace, the solution for humanity. Peace is what we need for you and me. Peace, the solution for humanity. Eternally, oh peace.
Peace is what we need, oh peace, oh peace. Open your eyes, your heart, your mind. Seek the truth and you will find the day is clear from night as darkness is from light a world without war hatred or crime a world where we live inside by side Divided we fall, let's stand and unite. Peace is the solution for all humankind. Peace, the solution for humanity. Peace is what we need for you and me. Peace, the solution for humanity, eternally, oh peace. And finally, Dr. Zakir Naik to present his concluding remarks and invite after that Sheikh Salah al Budair to present his dua. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahibi ajmain, amma abad. I welcome all of you to the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. At the conclusion of this 10 day Islamic International Conference, Peace, the Solution for Humanity, I would firstly like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's only and only because of Him and His help and His grace that this conference was possible. This is only due to the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator. And I would like to thank him for choosing this insignificant person, for being instrumental in organizing this conference. Secondly, I would like to thank the scholars, the orators, the stalwarts of Islam, more than 30, who have come from different parts of the world, from more than 15 to different countries, thousands of miles, left their busy schedule, came at the call of this insignificant servant of Allah. I would like to thank them and ask Allah SWT to reward them, without whom it would not have been possible to conduct this international conference. I thank them from the bottom of my heart. I also thank the Imams and the Qurra and the Nasheed artist and the honored guests who have come from different parts of the world to grace this occasion. I would like to thank more than 2,500 volunteers. More than 1,500 have come from outside Bombay and more than 1,000 are from Bombay. I would like to thank them. These were the people who strived and struggled, most of them for more than 12 days, from 13 hours to 20 hours minimum each volunteer spent was 13 hours. Some spent 20, 21 hours a day. I would like to thank them, without whom this function would not have been possible. I would like to thank this vast audience, hundreds of thousands, and maybe an estimated million over the 10 days, for coming and guessing the occasion. And I would like to thank those non-Muslims, approximately more than 25% is our estimate, for coming and listening to the message of peace the message of Islam, and especially those people who are like a hidayah and have accepted the religion of peace. I would like to even thank the technical staff, more than 1,000, who have been working for approximately a month to put this conference together, and the staff of Islamic Research Foundation and the associate organizations. Time will not permit me to name all of them, but if I have to name one person from the staff, after last man of Allah, if his support wasn't there, it would have been difficult to organize this conference. Is the event manager, Mr. Magbul Barwelikar? <laughs> MashaAllah, though he's a manager, but he worked 
like Mashar and Abdullah, a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if the second person if I have to name is the director of Harmony Media, who has put all this technical stuff together, that is Mr. Izar Faridi. I'd like to thank both of them. Time will not permit me to thank each and every of the staff members. I also thank my family members, my parents, my wife, my brother, my children, without whose support, it would not be possible. Before I end my speech, I'd like to tell you one thing. A good news and maybe a bad news. The good news is that, inshallah, we intend doing a similar conference, Peace, the Solution for Humanity Outside India. <laughs> Next year, we intend doing at another venue, the two shortlisted are London and Toronto, maybe one or maybe both, whichever Allah wills. And inshallah, every year, we intend going to other countries of the world. The sad news is, we don't know if we go outside, will we conduct a conference in Bombay or not? We leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take the decision. And I would like to give the message that Islam, that is peace acquired by submitting our will to Almighty God, is the only solution for the whole of humanity. And worship the Creator, not His creations. No God, no peace. No God, no peace. N O, no God. N O, no peace. K N O W. No God, K N O W. No peace. Wa'akhir dawana, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Jazakallah khair, Dr. Zakir, for your kind words. On behalf of the Islamic Research Foundation, as the organizers, we would like to thank the Government of India, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Home Ministry, which has been kind enough to support all our speakers coming in from various countries to India and given them official permission for this talk. We would like to thank the Government of Maharashtra for the various permissions given for us to conduct this conference, and especially the police of Mumbai, who have been very cooperative and supportive in organizing such a huge thing. It's not possible to arrange all. Give them a big applause. Police has been very, very cooperative. We conclude this program, inshallah, with Sheikh Salah al Budair, Imam and Khati Masjid al Nabawi, Medina, presenting the concluding dua for this conference. May I request Sheikh Jamana Zairani and Sheikh Faisal bin Hassan Tarad, the ambassador of Saudi Arabia in India, to kindly lead him up to the mic. Sheikh Salah al Budair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور وجعل الظلمات والنور ثم الذين كفروا بربهم يعدلون الحمد لله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وله الحمد في الآخرة وهو الحكيم الخبير يعلم ما يلج في الأرض وما يخرج منها وما ينزل من السماء وما يعرج فيها وهو الرحيم الغفور 
الحمد لله فاطر السماوات والأرض جاعل الملائكة رسلا جاعل الملائكة رسلا أولي أجنحة مثنى وثلاث ورباع يزيد في الخلق ما يشاء إن الله على كل شيء قدير ما يفتح الله للناس من رحمة فلا ممسك لها وما يمسك فلا مرسل له من بعده وهو العزيز الحكيم ومن يبتغ غير الإسلام دينا فلن يقبل منه ومن يبتغ غير الإسلام دينا فلن يقبل منه وهو في الآخرة من الخاسرين وهو في الآخرة من الخاسرين إن الدين عند الله الإسلام إن الدين عند الله الإسلام إن الدين عند الله الإسلام وما اختلف الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءهم العلم بغيا بينهم ومن يكفر بآيات الله فإن الله سريع الحساب فإن حاجوك فقل أسلمت وجهي لله فقل أسلمت وجهي لله ومن اتبعا وقل للذين أوتوا الكتاب والأميين أأسلمتم فإن أسلموا فقد اهتدوا وإن تولوا فإنما عليك البلاغ والله بصير بالعباد ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم إنا نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والسلامة من كل إثم والغنيمة من كل بر والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم هؤلاء عبادك وإماءك اجتمعوا في هذا المكان اللهم اشرح صدورهم للإسلام ونور قلوبهم بالإيمان 
اللهم اشرح صدورهم للإسلام ونور قلوبهم للإيمان اللهم إنا نسألك لإخواننا المسلمين في الهند التوفيق والسداد اللهم احفظهم يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم واجعلهم هداة مهتدين غير ضالين ولا مضلين إخواني في نهاية هذه الكلمة أشكر قناة السلام والقائمين عليها والداعمين لها والمشاركين فيها وأسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعل ما قدموا صحة في أبدانهم وسعة في أرزاقهم ورفعة في درجاتهم وصلاحا في ذرياتهم ومغفرة لخطاياهم وسيئاتهم إنه جواد كريم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين the assistants of Sheikh Salal Budair, Imam of Majal Nabi, have been informing that he would like to make a small token presentation to Dr. Zakir Naik for his efforts. In fact, I would appreciate if all our audience gives us ovation to both our imams from Masjid al nabi and Masjid al-Aqsa, as well as all the distinguished speakers who have taken trouble to come from all the various countries of the world. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Jazakumullah khairan. Inshallah, we see you in the future programs of the Islamic Research Foundation and other programs of presentation of Islam and bringing about a better understanding of Islam and peace in the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.